to wait. At least for you to even move to that, you have to understand what business is. You know, for you to even start talking about moving from one point to another, you know, there's there's got to be a business, right? Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. So 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 let's 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 start by at least opening this conversation with um, what business is, right? Right. So if if I am about to start a business, if someone's listening to me or listening to us right now and is looking about starting a business or already has a business and seemingly struggling uh, to hit the billion dollar mark, okay, what are those strategies? Or so let's even start. Um, what exactly is a business? Okay, thank you very much. And um, so usually when we have our classes, people ask this question mm. a lot. And one of the best definitions I would give is from a guy got called Josh Kaufman. He wrote a book called The Personal MBA, mm. right? Mm. And he says a business is a repeatable process that does five things. Number one, it creates and delivers something of value. Mm. Okay. Number two, that other people want or need. Three, mm. At a price they are willing to pay. Mm-hmm. Number four, in a way that satisfies the needs of the customer. Mm-hmm. And number five, s- such that the business brings in enough profit to make it worthwhile for the owner to continue operation. Wow. And this is very, very important to note, right? Because if you take the first point, for example, mm-hmm. right, where we say a business creates and delivers something of value, mm-hmm. it's important because most businesses or most business people don't understand how to check if what they are bringing to the market is valuable in the first place, mm. right? And there, there are essentially four ways to know. Okay. If, I mean, if, if, you, if you are doing a business, there are essentially four ways to know whether that business is valuable or not, whether I should shut it down or I should double down on it, right? Yeah. The first thing you want to ask is, this thing that I want to do, mm. whether it's a business I'm doing or a business I intend to start, does it serve a huge expanding market? Is mm. the market for that product or that service, is it expanding or is it shrinking? Hmm. For example, it made a lot of sense 10 years ago to run Cyber Cafe. Yeah. Right. It makes absolutely... It's business now, centers. The internet is mm. more abundant, yeah. but business centers um, um internet, internet centers, centers. Mm-hmm. exactly cyber cafes cyber make cafes. absolutely little sense today that's mm-hmm. right right mm-hmm. in lagos for example it made a lot of sense to sell recharge card on the street that's right now most people buy that thing from their phones that's right so the question is whatever it is that i'm trying to double into yeah. is the market size increasing mm-hmm. or is it shrinking mm-hmm. because if it's shrinking you need to get out of that market. Hmm. And right. I mean, and it's and it's normal. Even businesses, there are companies like that, like IBM that started the PC, yeah. essentially, and, and they've moved on from mm. that. Yeah. Microsoft has moved into gaming. Yeah. All of these guys have moved on because they realize that the size of the market, market. is shrinking. Mm. Wow. Right? So wow. the first thing you want to check is, is the size of the market expanding or is it shrinking? Hmm. Hmm. Right? The second thing, can I go on? Yes, well, well, in fact, you know, let's take a message from our sponsors quickly. <laughs> okay. This is getting interesting. Right. I should be taking notes right here. <laughs> uh, if you're listening, guys, you have a business, you're an entrepreneur. This particular segment of the show is for you to get the re- requisite knowledge or the required information that will spur you to want to get more information and also do what you need to do to move your business from where it is to where it should be or where you want it to be. Nobody wants retrogression. Everyone wants progress, right? So we take a message from our sponsor of this segment and then we continue with a special guest for more talk. Isn't it?
it that it would encourage him to like you know what my business is right here and i i i cannot give up on this i have to do what i need to do to get this right so the first thing that i wanted to you know, point out is yeah. when you said I cannot give up on this. Yeah. You know? So sometimes I would recommend that some people give up on certain things. Mm. Because if you're in a business that is dying, you should get out of it. Okay. If you're in a business that you cannot define some uniqueness, you should get out of it. Mm. Wow. If you're in a business that does not provide leverage, you should mm. get out of it. Mm. If you're in a business whose time is past or whose time has not come yet, then you might have to consider. Because there's such a thing as timing in business. True. Wow. Right? So sometimes you want to start a business. So here's the problem with timing, right? That I want to start a business, but I'm way ahead of my time. Yeah. Now, it doesn't mean I should not do it, but I need to know what responsibility I'll have. Because if you are way ahead of your time, mm -hmm. you'll be saddled with the responsibility to educate the market. Mm. The problem is that mm. some people who educate the market run out of steam when the market is educated. Mm. For example, mm. we know Facebook, we know Twitter, we know Instagram. Mm -hmm. What most of us don't remember is High Five, MySpace. Mm. The guys who educated us about yes. social networking yeah. that's right. but ran out of steam by the time the social networking became a Pins. thing. Oh, yeah. Right? So, so the first thing is to be sure because there's nothing, I mean, when people say I don't give up, sometimes you need to give up on something to find something great. Wow. You know, so first, be sure whether the business that you're in, whether you should even be in it, mm -hmm. you know, and when you then identify, because most people don't realize mm -hmm. is that the vehicle, the company can mm -hmm. shift what it's doing. You know, if I start out selling biscuits, mm -hmm. if biscuit is not selling, I can shift to selling pap. Mm. They, they, they didn't tie my destiny with biscuits. <laughs> mm. okay. do, you, do you understand? They didn't mm. tie your destiny with biscuits. Mm -hmm. You know, so first is the business that I'm doing, do I need to move it? Do I need to shift it? You know, because most entrepreneurs think that the product is mm -hmm. like the ultimate, but yeah. the product is changeable. I just said that IBM was selling computers, they are selling software. Yeah. You know, uh, Microsoft is now a gaming company, yeah, essentially. Absolutely. You know, so they're shifting. So, my business, so you have to accept that, oh, my business can shift. So that this business I'm doing, yeah. if it's not, you know, if I'm not supposed to do it, I can move to mm -hmm. doing something else. And then you now have to find the right strategies to make it work. Okay. All right. So uh, well, a lot of people are asking how they can connect because our time is far spent now. We need to run away. Yeah. But one good thing I need to tell you is that Ezekiel is going to be here again next week and the next uh, ne week after next and, and on and on so that we can get this knowledge, tap enough from his word of knowledge and also see how we can you know, interact and get the best out of this. So how can you be found on social media? Uh, on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, we're, uh, we're found at LimSimple, at okay. L-I-M-B Simple. Okay. And uh, um, they can also reach us on phone. Okay. In, in fact, we actually have a free Zoom class that is happening this Friday at 12 noon. Oh. Yes. So if you want to be part of that class, you could send a text, your name or, you know, anything to 090-9000-8887. Okay. All right. That's 090-9000-8887. Thank you very much. And see you next week again. Guys, Thank you so much. keep uh, your fingers crossed. That's it, Andrea. That's it. Thank you, Lagos, for tuning. It's been an amazing, amazing What's Up Lagos today. Uh, but now we'll be stepping aside. I am Andrea. On to Obi. Take care. My name is Collins. Take care. God bless you. God bless our homes. God bless Nigeria. Want to take your business to the next level? The